there is no shortage of stories of mythical creatures throughout history. While many have been debunked, those legends had to start somewhere. In some cases, real-life animals may have inspired the myths we know today. In others, impressive similarities may have caused some to confuse the real-life animal with an already existing mythological creature. Either way, there's no denying that there is a connection between real-life creatures and those of legend. So today, we are going to tell you about animals that may have inspired mythical creatures. 1. Okapi One animal that may have inspired mythology is the okapi. These deer-like mammals live in the rainforests of Africa and appear to be a combination of a giraffe, zebra, and antelope. When seen from a distance, they are easily confused with horses and zebras. Most importantly, male okapis have a pair of horns placed side by side on their heads. When viewed from the side, the horns can appear as one, making the okapi look like a unicorn. This feature has even earned them the nickname, the African Unicorn. We don't know for sure that the idea of a unicorn was born from the okapi, narwhal tusks, for instance, are commonly cited as inspiration for the creature. However, there's no denying that the combination of a single horn and a horse-like body harkens to the African okapi. 2. Gigantopithecus Everything we know about Gigantopithecus comes from fossils, including teeth and jawbones. It was the largest ape to ever live. Researchers estimate it was 10 feet tall and 1,200 pounds and it roamed the forests of Asia as recently as 300,000 years ago. Some anthropologists believe that Gigantopithecus was bipedal. That is, it walked on two feet. When all of these features come together, they create an image of Bigfoot, the Yeti, or any of the other massive ape-like creatures that are popular in folklore. Some Bigfoot hunters believe that the creature they search for is a Gigantopithecus that managed to survive. However, the species most likely went extinct after it was unable to adapt its diet to its changing climate hundreds of thousands of years ago. 3. Giant Orfish Also known as the King of Herrings, the giant orfish is the world's largest bony fish. Growing up to 36 feet long, this fish spends its time gracefully slithering through the ocean's deepest depths between 656 and 3,280 feet. It is rarely seen on the surface. The combination of its elusiveness and impressive size makes it clear to see why the giant oarfish may well be the source for the sea serpents popular in oceanic mythology. 4. Manatee While sailing near Haiti, Christopher Columbus believed he saw mermaids. He even got close enough to render himself unimpressed, stating that in person, they were not half as beautiful as they are painted. In actuality, Columbus was looking at manatees. He's not the only traveler to make the mistake, however. Mermaid, sightings by sailors throughout history were likely to have also been this marine mammal or, possibly, a similar-looking sea cow called a dugong. 5. Giant Squid Especially popular in pirate stories is the myth of the Kraken, a giant sea monster that resembles a mammoth cephalopod. This creature is likely derived from sightings of giant squids, which can grow to up to 43 feet long and whose tentacles are equipped with hundreds of sharp-toothed suckers. Since these beasts prefer to dwell in deep ocean waters, sightings of giant squids are rare but possible, making them perfect inspiration for a mythical monster. 6. Flamingo Everyone knows that flamingos have a striking hue. Because of their vibrant pink and red plumage, many believe the birds could have given rise to the legend of the phoenix. A sacred firebird that regenerates instead of dying, the mythical phoenix was first identified by ancient Egyptians as a heron-like bird, and it is notable for its crimson feathers. Fittingly, the word, flamingo, comes from the Spanish and Latin word flamenco, which, in reference to the bird's brightly colored feathers, means, fire. 7. Protoceratops The Protoceratops was a sheep-sized dinosaur that roamed the land in what is now Mongolia. The four-legged creature had an enormous head and a parrot-like beak. Because of this, early fossil hunters likely mistook its remains for those of a griffin, a mythical beast said to have the head of an eagle and the body of a lion. Even today, Protoceratops fossils can be found all over the Gobi Desert. Given the skeletal form of the animal's fossils, it's still easy to see how it could have been confused with the mythical griffin. 8. Diprotodon The Diprotodon, also known as the giant wombat, was the largest marsupial that's ever lived. The enormous creature measured up to 12.5 feet long and 5.5 feet high and weighed in at over 6,000 pounds. It went extinct as recently as 25,000 years ago, which means that it would have been around by the time humans migrated to their native Australia. 
Some experts suggest that the Diprotodon is the origin of the mythical monster known to Australian aboriginals as the Bunyip. Both creatures share some key behaviors, such as lurking in swamps and billabongs, though the Diprotodon was not known to prey on women and children the way the Bunyip does. Even now, the Diprotodon lives on in the rich cultural memory of aboriginal lore, some tribes identify Diprotodon fossils as bunyip bones. 9. Plesiosaurus One of the most famous mythical beings in history is the Loch Ness Monster, a large marine creature with a long neck that protrudes from the water. This monster has a long history in Scottish folklore, but it may have started with the Plesiosaurus, a reptile with a similar physical description that lived during the Jurassic period. Some believe that the Loch Ness Monster is in fact a living Plesiosaurus and continue to claim sightings. However, most experts believe that the beast went extinct along with most dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period. The legend of Nessie is part of what's been left behind. 10. Hobbit Hobbit is the nickname given to Homo floresiensis, a species of extinct human found on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003. Standing at about 3 feet, 6 inches tall, their taxonomy is a subject of fierce debate because of the way different features match up with various species of both archaic humans and apes. Many experts believe that hobbits represent a new branch on the human evolutionary tree. Hobbits are a likely source of the local legend of the Ibu Gogo, human and monkey-like creatures said to have been short, hairy, language poor, and cave dwelling. The connection is most likely due to the short stature of hobbits. So, we may have been deceived by these animals as mythical animals from the past. The appearance of these animals is very similar to that of the mythical animals. So what do you think about mythical animals? Do they really live? Or do you accept that the mythical animals are the animals we discussed in this video?